Hey, coming up next, Chef Terry from the block is teaching us how to grill his famous boomerang wings outside. That's right, but first, here's what we learned from actor Brad Garrett about his new show, High Desert. Take a look. Our next guest, Brad Garrett, is starring as private investigator Bruce Harvey in the new comedy series High Desert on Apple TV Plus, alongside, get this cast, Patricia Arquette, Bernadette Peters, Matt Dillon, and more. Brad, thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Hello, Indianapolis. Hi, Brad. We are so excited to be chatting with you. So tell us about the new show and what it's Same. like working with that awesome cast. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> no. um, it's, <we're laughs> I just thought I'd throw that out there just because, you know, I'm boring you. He got me. He got me. Uh, no, like, High Desert is a, it's a very dark comedy. It stars Patricia Arquette. Uh, whose character is dealing with uh, addiction and loss and grief, and that's just the crew. No, <laughs> and uh, so it's 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 really a, it's it's about a town in the middle of the desert, a bunch of quirky people who are really all in desperate modes. I play uh, a private investigator whose whose career and personal life is on life support. And he, when we meet him in the show, he's he's selling items on eBay just to pay his rent. And Patricia Arquette is pretty much in the same lane as far as where her life is. So these two desperate folks kind of find each other and partner up to uh, hopefully have a better life. And just more hell ensues. And <laughs> um, and it's just a great cast. And Jay Roach directs it and. The writing's amazing, so I got very lucky. Yeah, the the writing is great. I, I just watched the first episode last night, and uh, it's it's really fun to see you in this role. And Patricia Arquette is great too. I mean, she's yeah. just absolutely fantastic. But she's I want to I want to know when did you discover that comedy was your thing, Brad? Uh, very early in life, you know, I was like a uh, like a six foot twelve year old. <laughs> Incredibly uncoordinated. Uh, I look uh, odd. As you could, can you see? Are, are, we we it, can, can see. see yes, it? yes. You and, look very um, handsome. I was you just, you know, I was an odd kid, and I didn't have any athletic ability, and uh, I, I was just, you know, I was bullied a lot, and humor became the equalizer hmm. you know it's like i would make fun of myself before they could yeah. if that makes any sense sure and then i started to you know imitate different teachers and imitate different people in my class and uh it just kind of turned into you know my my niche of how i was i was accepted yeah. and uh i it, you know it kind of saved my behind <laughs> uh, a lot in school, uh, it, you know, that. came out of desperation. Yeah, yes. like a lot of art, I guess. Well, we really appreciate the, just the honesty and yeah. explaining that sure. because even hearing this now, I know sure. there are people watching that it's going to help them. So, what advice maybe would you give to maybe some of the yeah. younger audience watching who wants to follow in your footsteps and be a comedian or an actor? Yeah, y you know, the key is do what you love. I know that sounds so cliche. It's what I've always told my kids. You got to do what you love. And because uh, at the end of the day, that really, that's really all that matters is that regardless of how hard you work or what your goals are, if you, if you attack it by passion and, and it being something that's important to you, uh, it's just life is different. You know, life is different. And I've just tried to always stay grateful because, you know, no matter what kind of day I'm having, and believe me, I'm, you know, I, I have my issues, trust me. We all but do. Yeah. I always try to come from uh, an area of gratefulness because I, I've, I've worked hard, but I've, I've been lucky. And, uh, uh, and I've prepared, you know, and I've yeah. studied. And when the time comes and the luck comes, you have to be prepared and ready. That's great. But when it comes to doing what you love, it's a different game, you know? Yeah. Brad, uh, really quick, one last question. What was your favorite part about playing sure. Bruce Harvey? And, and have you ever sold anything on eBay to make ends meet? <laughs> uh, you, you know, that's really no one's business. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no, have I ever sold anything on eBay? No, I bought a lot of stuff on eBay. Okay. Uh, this jacket, actually, it's lovely. Was uh, 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 was actually Ernest Borgnine's. Oh wow! And what? it's reversible, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So I bought things on. I would say my favorite thing about Bruce Harvey is uh, I just love his desperation. Mm. I love his his intent to try to do the right thing, but at the end of the day doing what he needs to to survive yeah, yeah. you know he's, he's he's a guy who tries to live by the book but he at the end of the day he's a little shady <laughs> so it's yes. fun to play yeah. both dynamics well, that's well, great Brad, and i think you. a lot of us are like that sure uh, true yeah, right? yeah in desperate times exactly well brad we appreciate you telling Thank us you. about the series <laughs> we we appreciate you making us laugh sure. we love chatting with you so make sure you watch high desert on apple tv Same plus here. and thank you so much thanks brad